Today I've come to Hillside Memorial Park. It is a Jewish cemetery in Culver City, California. Many Jews from the entertainment industry are buried here. It's the noisiest cemetery I've been to because there's a freeway running along here. It's a Jewish cemetery, so don't come here on a Saturday because it will be closed. Sorrel Brook. He was Boss Hogg in the 80s TV show The Dukes of Hazzard. He also appeared in Hawaii Five-O MASH, Full House and Dr. Kildare. And he received an Emmy for his part in Dr. Kildare. When he was in the Dukes of Hazzard, he was actually wearing padding to make him look fatter. He was a close friend of his co-star James Best, who played Sheriff Roscoe P. Coltrane in the Dukes of Hazzard. James Best died in 2015. Other TV shows that he appeared in include Kung Fu, Columbo, Little House on the Prairie and The Love Boat. He served as a counterintelligence officer during the Korean War and he spoke five languages fluently, English, French, German, Spanish and Japanese. He also played several musical instruments including the piano, clarinet and saxophone. He died of cancer in 1994 at the age of 64. Mo Howard, the leader of the Three Stooges. He was born in New York City in 1897. He started appearing in short films with the Three Stooges in the 1930s, although they were originally called Healy and the Stooges. Mo's distinctive soup bowl haircuts actually predates the Stooges. This was his haircut since he was a child, although when he wasn't filming he did comb back his hair which made him appear quite different to how he appeared on the Three Stooges. When the Three Stooges shorts started appearing on television in the 1950s, it prompted a wave of children poking each other in their eyes. When Mo heard about this, he and the Stooges went on national television to show kids how the eye pokes were done, so that nobody got hurt. Three Stooges episodes and films stopped being made after 1970 because the cast were getting older but Mo continued to appear on talk shows. He died in May 1975, aged 77. Grave of Peggy Lipton, or Peggy Lipton Jones. Best remembered for her role as Julie Barnes on The Mod Squad in 1968. She played Norma Jennings in Twin Peaks, both in the 90s and in the Twin Peaks Return in 2017. And she once had a relationship with Elvis Presley. She was married to record producer Quincy Jones from 1974 till they divorced in 1989 and she died of cancer in May 2019, 15 years after being diagnosed, and she was 72. Max Facte, born in Poland, started out as a wig maker, but got into makeup after moving to America. He was known for being able to customise makeup to present actors in the best possible light. Some of his clients were Gloria Swanson, Joan Crawford, Jean Harlow and Judy Garland. His birth name was Maximilian Factorwix, but he changed it to Max Factor. He actually invented the term makeup to describe his products. He also coined the term colour harmony to refer to the matching of skin tone, hair colour and eye colour. He created the first makeup specifically for motion pictures in 1910. He opened the House of Factor, a salon and makeup studio in Hollywood. He also launched a line of cosmetics for retail sale. His four sons continued the business after his death in 1938. Max Factor died in May 1938 at the age of 65. Just down here is the tomb of Michael Landon, 
star of Little House on the Prairie and Bonanza. Born in Queens, New York, he was the father of nine children. I hired five of his real-life children for Little House on the Prairie. He died of cancer at the age of 55. He left a $100 million fortune. The day after his funeral, President Reagan and First Lady Nancy Reagan attended a memorial service for London. Michael London was the only actor to have three television shows running consecutively for five years or more. They were Bonanza, Little House on the Prairie and Highway to Heaven. London is entombed here because his father was from a Jewish family, although his mother was of Irish Catholic background. Michael London passed away on July 1st, 1991. Just two months before his death, he had made his final guest appearance on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. Another Bonanza actor. Lorne Green, Canadian actor best known for his role as Ben Cartwright in Bonanza and also commander Adema in Battlestar Galactica. He was born in the Canadian capital Ottawa in February 1915. During World War II he served as a flying officer in the Canadian Air Force. He was a mentor to Michael London when they worked together on Bonanza. He would later appear on one episode of Michael London's Highway to Heaven. To capitalise on his TV fame, he started recording albums from 1963 to 1968. He even achieved a number one single with Ringo, a spoken word ballad, which was released in 1964. And he died on September the 11th, 1987, at the age of 72. Next is Leonard Nimoy, Spock from Star Trek. He played Spock for 50 years and he was nominated three times for an Emmy Award. He was a favourite among Star Trek fans. He personally came up with the Vulcan salute. He wrote two autobiographies, I'm Not Spock and I Am Spock. He died in 2015 at the age of 83. As you can see there's a lot of visitors been coming here. Shelley Winters won an Oscar for her part in the film The Diary of Anne Frank in 1959 and for the 1965 film A Patch of Blue. She was roommates with Marilyn Monroe when they were both starting out in Hollywood. She donated her Oscar for The Diary of Anne Frank to the Anne Frank Museum. And she was the godmother of actress Laura Dern. She suffered a fatal heart attack in 2006 at the age of 85. Her third husband had a stroke on the same day and died five days later. From a very windy hillside cemetery, it's the end of the video. We'll see you in the next one. Somehow I think that I lost my head, don't know